Hey, hey, Sagittarius, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your September 2024 monthly reading. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and welcome if you're new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Sag, welcome. Key themes for the month of September, you have healing, memories, and messages. Bottom of the deck, you do have the soul lessons card. So some of you may be focused on health, okay, or getting back into a healthy routine. I feel like you've been in the throes of recovery of some way, shape, or form. Recovering your finances, recovering your health recovering from a relationship or perhaps disappointment or loss that had occurred. But I feel like you have been putting in the effort. You have been working on the areas of your life that have felt misaligned or have felt like you may have been resisting in some way, shape, or form. There's support here for you. And I feel like this could also be professional or medical support. We're going to look at health, we'll look at abundance, finances, relationships, partnerships, and love. We'll look at everything in your reading. But because we have healing coming up here, some of you, this does have to do with a financial struggle or setback that has occurred in your world. I'm also getting with the memories, you may have gone through a period of your life where there was massive grief of some sort. And that grief, that challenge, that struggle that you had gone through was actually part of you waking up to your purpose. Because I see here in the financial piece of this, there is a message around you taking pain and turning it into gain to help others in some way shape or form or to share your story Sagittarius look at that we have peacemaker here diplomacy now you may have an old energy partnership relationship or symptom that may show up from the past because we have memories this could also be a big month September could be the month where an energy originated, okay? It could be someone's birthday or anniversary or celebration of life, or it could have been a memory that stands out to you. And I feel like you are reminiscing a bit. You could be romanticizing the past for others of you. The past is coming up for you to heal, Okay, for you to bring up to the surface to allow yourself to heal it so you don't shove it back down. And I also feel health-wise, you may have an old wound, an old hurt, physical pain, a symptom that flares up for you. But I see with the help here, okay, there's some sort of help, guidance, advice, healing, nurturing, I feel like you will get that under wraps or it'll be something you'll be able to maintain, heal, and work with this energy. It could be a therapist you speak with. It could be PT for some of you. I'm also getting support group or having a soul tribe. Some of you may even be calling new energies in to help you on your healing path, on your healing, healing journey. Now, you may even be writing a memoir. This is the card of storytelling. And you may be someone who is meant to start a vlog, start you know, a memoir or a YouTube channel or speak to others about what you've gone through. I feel like that is part of your path here in some way, shape or form. But because we have the photographs, I feel like new memories are being made. Okay, you may be ready to let some sort of loss go lean into closure and recovery in order for you to move forward in your life because you have the chariot showing up here and this is a massive turning point. You're coming out of the woods. 
You're coming out of a shadow period or a period that may have been a little dark or heavy. As you can see on this chariot, the trees, they look pretty dark and she's coming up to this clearing and there's sunshine, there's poppies, there's a trail, it's green. And green also represents the heart chakra. You may be opening up your heart after some sort of, you know, loss or you may have shut down to heal and to recover. And you may have even been in, you know, perseverance mode here with the five of pentacles, but it's in reverse, which is good because I feel like there has been money or health issues. Some of you are changing your perspective on abundance, on money, instead of perhaps lack of, or I'm even getting victim mentality. I mean, I'm not saying anyone's a victim, but you may have thought at one point or another, why is this happening to me? Why do I keep coming up against a block or a barricade? When am I gonna be free of this situation? And so I am getting a little bit of feeling victimized or feeling attacked in some way, shape or form. Like, when are you gonna help me universe? I've been working my tail end off and I feel like you are coming out of that period or that pattern or that belief or that relationship or job or whatever you felt entangled with. Now there is a message, incoming news. This could be an aha moment, a download from your spiritual team while you're in the shower right? It could be while you're out walking your dogs. It could even be during meditation. This could be a spiritual message. It could be a text, a call, an email, but there is an announcement coming in here and very important communication between you and another energy that is going to initiate change initiate action. It's going to be part of this turning point. And I feel like it's coming right here from this Knight of Wands. This is intention setting. Some of you Sagittarians have set your intention or once you receive this communication, it's like now the ball is in your court or now you know what you need to do to move forward. And I feel like you're hitting a target. You can see that She's on the horse and she has drawn back her rose arrow and she is ready to, you know, hit that target. And I feel like this is something really good for you. Yeah. And you're getting clear. There's a message around boundaries as well after a bit of a delay and, or I feel like the message is don't delay. Yeah. Don't delay what you need to do. If this is health and your body is alerting you, through communication, right? Because your body is going to tell you what's going on. It is going to manifest in a feeling, in pain, in, you know, maybe the way you sleep. It could be night sweats. It could be sweaty palms. It could be high blood pressure. Your body is alerting you and it's time to pay attention here and take action. Okay. If that resonates with you, it could be that you know, you've been in this fight or flight mode or you felt like you were singled out in some way in your career and I feel like now is the time to take action and you may receive news of a new offer coming in, but I'm getting don't back down. Don't stay perched or stay small on your ledge because you're meant to move forward here. Bottom of the deck, we have soul lessons, we have belief system and spiritual toolbox. Wow, those are big energies. It means that you have been going through it, right? You've been going through it on a deeper level. This is inner growth, karma, past life energy, wisdom, and gaining the strength to prepare you for initiation okay prepare you for initiation what does that mean it means that no matter what comes at you right no matter what comes at you in life you have the spiritual tools that you need to get through whatever comes your way or whatever happens perhaps even on a global level and i feel like you have been going through this preparation period for some of you and this was a common theme in last week's love reading if you're single there has been a preparation for union 
And even if you're not single, this can be preparation to connect with a soulmate. Soulmates do not have to be romantic. It could be a best friend. It could be a, a family member. It could be a pet. But you have the toolbox here. And this reminds me of the magician having all of the tools they need to take action and manifest a turning point change. And that's the initiation here. You may be working with your tarot or oracle cards, pendulums, crystals. You may be creating more of a sacred space within yourself is what I'm getting here. Yes, you could have an altar. You could have a place that you love to go to and meditate and just be. But I feel like this message here is that sacred space within you, Sag. And you may be coming to a place where you feel more peace. There's more acceptance. Acceptance over the things that you cannot change. Yeah, I'm getting this serenity prayer. God, grant me grant me the, now I forget what the prayer is, but I'm seeing the words, the serenity prayer. Grant me the wisdom to know the difference. Yeah, I feel like you do know the difference here and that may shift everything for you. You have belief system and this is self-talk. It is reprogramming. It's taking a look at any limiting beliefs that you have around not being good enough, not having enough. It can be around health or abundance or feeling left out, feeling alienated. You've been doing the work. You've been connecting more and more to your ancestral roots. You've been healing your lineage is what I'm feeling here. There's a connection to your higher power while you are going through this transitional period now let's dive into the tarot you have the five of pentacles excuse me five of pentacles could have been or could be financial changes health changes but i feel like you're coming out of that fight or flight mode of feeling like you are taking one step forward just to take two steps back it feels like a bit of a tug of war that you've been in for a bit and perseverance is saying you are coming out of it. You're determined. You are powerful. You have the strength within you. Remember what I said about you learning the tools along the way. And I feel like you're taking off. And we also mentioned not sitting on your perch. This bird is quite literally sitting on that branch. He's sitting on the perch. And we see later on the three of wands showing up here. This is a refreshing type of energy where... The, the bird basically, which is you, is able to spread your wings and move out of a situation. It's like your ships are coming in with the three of wands. There's been a choice that's made or some sort of message or communication that has initiated this change. And this is optimism. It's about not taking your eye off the prize, your hard work paying off and a return on your investment basically. So if you've been setting an intention of, you know, shifting in your career or getting healthier, don't take your eye off the prize. Don't hold yourself back in some way because that, that voice, that communication, that channeled message, that news, it is alerting you, okay, as an alert saying it's time, it's time to move. And that's why you have the chariot and the knight of wands. Now, the knight of wands is someone who's very passionate for what he believes in, especially spiritually, and you're connected to that spiritual toolbox here. So when he has the tools that he needs, and in this case, his tool is his bow and arrow. There's something about setting the intention and sticking to it, staying consistent. So consistency is going to be important. When it comes to your health, it could be staying hydrated and making sure that you are drinking an adequate amount of water each and every day. If you are wanting to you know, work on your cholesterol or your blood pressure or lose weight, you know, whatever it may be for you, set your target you know, set your intention to hit that target and stay consistent with it because it will change your life, but it does require action and continuous action on your end. Now we have the six of pentacles, beautiful. So we see you coming out of that five and I love this energy because it means that yes, things have been shifting for you out of the obstacle phase and onto the make it happen phase. The six of pentacles is generosity. This is the gift. 
right? A gift of healing, closure, or financial, you know, opportunity, financial gain. It could be incoming abundance, right? Some of you, there's going to be a payout or there could be a new offer to increase your finances, perhaps even an inheritance or some sort of financial aid or help from someone here. And this is that support that I was picking up on earlier. It could even be in the, the medical field, as mentioned, or a professional of some sort. Wow, did you guys see that? That light just went off and on, flickered. So you may even receive signs from loved ones that are here to support you. And they may be showing you through flicker, flickering lights. It could be, you know, a song on the radio. It could be a smell. Some of you, you're smelling or you're hearing, clairaudient. Yeah, your gifts are activated, so pay attention. Your intuition is activated, so pay attention. And your final message is the Queen of Swords, Libran season. This shows up towards the end of September. For those of you that had perfectionism tendencies, right? Or you felt like everything had to be good before you took that next step. There may be a lesson around that for you. You may be healing that facade or crashing through an illusion of perfectionism because that does not exist. It sets us up for disappointment. And I feel like you're seeing something for what it truly is. And that may give you the clarity or acceptance that you need to be able to take the next steps because the queen of swords, she's very observant. She's very logical. She's also very intuitive, but she's a truth seeker. She's all about the truth. So even if the truth is difficult to hear, even if the truth is helping her get out of self-denial, she is not going to sugarcoat it or she doesn't want it to be sugarcoated, right? She is moving forward and setting healthy boundaries, but there is something about complete and rigorous honesty, honesty with oneself, honesty in the situation, and using your brilliant mind to move forward. So logic and intellect play out when it comes to the next steps here on your journey. Let's look at love. What do we have here for love? Oh, I love this. You actually have the healthy choices and we are getting healing. We are getting health. You may have chose partnerships or perhaps you were karmically contracted with the soul lessons, right? You may have been in a karmic contract that could have been very unhealthy and it was to bring about some lessons around trust around boundaries, around not settling for less than you deserved, and about refresh, like hitting that refresh button. You know when you're on your phone and it gets stuck and bogged down and you, you gotta hit that refresh button? And I feel like that's kind of what happened is something kept spinning and spinning and spinning here and you're like, what's going on? I just need a fresh start, I don't wanna wait. So there may have even been a tad bit of impatience but I feel like you're now choosing healthy relationships or healthy foods. This can be healthy patterns. Thank you, spirit. Healthy patterns because you've broken out of some patterns of outdated thinking. You have old school here, conditioning. And that's that belief system that we see at the bottom. It really is. It's like going from the cassette and if you're old school and you know what the cassette is, I remember having to push the rewind and, you know, playing the tape over again uh, or fast forwarding it and then the tape getting caught up and you having to take your finger and fix it. And I feel like we've come a long way and this is your, your mind and your body and your soul. You've come a long way from having to stick in that tape, right? And now we can listen on Spotify or we can listen to music anywhere in the, the, the touch of a finger. So it's as if you now have the tools equipped to work smarter, not harder, or to bring about a sense of simplicity. Yeah, simplicity to your thinking, like thinking simple, not overdoing it in some way, shape, or form, or not going back to some sort of old belief that you may have had. 
because in the past that may have gotten you over your head. It may have, you may have even had things happen that went over your head because there could have been a lack of awareness. And how would you know unless you'd gone through something? And that's why you'd gone through something is to strengthen your sense of self, your sense of awareness and boundaries. And for some of you people in the past really pushed your boundaries because the, the tapes here are entangled. They're all wrapped around each other. What a mess that looks like, right? And I feel like it took you a long time to come out of some sort of condition that you were in. And this could have even stemmed in childhood. But we have self-love and self-care being a big focus that I keep going back to. This is being happier, loving the people that you surround yourself with, loving the relationships that you enter, and most importantly, loving yourself and the life that you have been through and where you're at today. And looking at those challenges and struggles as you know a gratifying period, even though they have, had brought struggle. Now you do have the dragonfly, lighthearted and adaptability. This is about not having your heart feel so bogged down, right? Not feeling resentment or bitterness or anxiety, depression, anger, all of the, the feelings. But at the same time, it is about love and joy and freedom and, you know, being able to open yourself up again and finding out who you are with another person. And I feel like you are opening up to love. You have the date card as your, your advice. And this is about getting back out there if you're single, if you are in a relationship that has been challenging, maybe you've been with someone for a while, can you incorporate more date nights into the mix? Can you remember why you fell in love in the first place? And for those of you where it's been complicated, I feel like it's time to shift things up. It's time to get off the perch and do something about it because you're going to keep getting the same results if you continue staying on this, this branch and you're not meant to. That's why the chariot comes in and says, wait a second, Sag, there's a turning point here. You don't have to stay in this limbo period. Now's the time. Set your intention, take action, do what you need to do, and you're going to be better off because of it. So you could be dating online. Some of you are meeting someone new and that could very much be that support and that help that could bring about or initiate forward movement. Sometimes we just need that little extra push. And if you have been thinking about the past, sometimes when we don't have an energy to focus on, right? What's, it could be a person or it could be a new job or it could be, you know, some sort of goal to reach for. We tend to fall back into past cycles, past patterns, or we think about that X or we think about, you know, well, maybe it wasn't that bad with that person. Maybe I should see if it could change. Try not to fall into that trap, okay? Because this is new energies. For those of you that are wanting a sense of change. I feel like spirit is saying, move forward. Don't look back. If you're going to look back, look back at how far you've come and how far you've grown and you've changed. And I do see here that if someone is wanting to come back from the past with the memories, then make sure they are standing in their truth and standing in their integrity. And what that means is their words their actions and their consistencies all match and line up. All right, let's look at finances, money, wealth, and career. You have the slow, slow as a turtle card, okay? It says making slow progress, but you're getting there. So it may feel like it's taken a little bit of time to get to this turning point. Remember, slow and steady work leads to success that is sustainable. And I just did a reading, it may have been Libran's reading, Sag, where sustainability was showing up and it's maintain versus sustain. Is it sustainable over the long term or are we just trying to maintain it, which means it doesn't really change and it's up to you. You can maintain what you have here, even though it may not bring the abundance you seek or the happiness that you strive for. 
or you're looking into sustainability. Is this something that has the opportunity to grow and thrive over time? If not, what changes need to be done now? And that's what I see for you financially. Time to stop putting things off for later when you need to do it now. Okay, that is a message and I was picking up on that earlier. Now's the time. Don't put it off. Don't sit on that perch. We got to take some action here. And that's what this is reminding you. Now we have life purpose. You will have new ideas and inspirations that will guide you to your divine calling. What is meant for you, Sag, will not leave you as long as you continue to push forward. And it, it does require a little bit of work to push forward, right? If you've ever walked through one of those doors at the store or the mall and it says push or pull, right? It's going to be pushing it forward here. So it's going to take a little bit of strength and effort on your end. And it says, ask for what you need and things will align for you to carry out your vision. There is the night of wands. There's the intention setting, setting some sort of goal for yourself and taking action towards it. Next, you have spirituality. Use money magical spells to increase wealth and prosperity, writing them down. This may have to do with documentation, documents, connecting with maybe a financial advisor as well. But it says spiritual advisor, healer, tarot reader, or any other career in the occult. So that could be you. It says you are being guided to discover your own spiritual path right now and to maybe even help others on their spiritual journey. Yeah, you have the opportunity to manifest and increase your wealth at this time. Now, you may have a career in the medical field, science. You may be a peacemaker here. It says chemist, forensics, biochemist, or anything in the field of science or possibly politics, negotiations, unions, contracts, or any other peacemaking careers. This could be helping the planet. Some of you may even be into market research or helping find solutions to problems. And I know this is a big one, but take it as it resonates, but I'm getting like cancer research. You could be part of something that big. Maybe that's what it is, but I feel like you are discovering ways to bring about healing, to bring about peace here on planet earth. And for some of you, this is part of your calling. And it may be through, you know, a tarot channel, like it says here, the spiritual piece. It may be through Reiki or connecting with loved ones who crossed over. It can be working, you know, in politics in some way, shape or form or helping bring about an understanding of why things are happening and how to create that turning point. Like what's the missing ingredient that needs to take place? And there is something here about you figuring this out. You're very intelligent. You're very creative. You have a brilliant mind. Some of you are definitely chemists here in some way, shape or form. And it's important to apply a scientific approach to your business or financial problem. There's that queen of swords. Approach the situation with a win-win attitude when making business deals. Yeah, so I feel like there is a turning point that's leading to more prosperity, more wealth. That's why she's coming out of the woodwork and there's poppies ahead, right? Or there's wildflowers, there's green, there's a path. And it doesn't mean that she's never going to face another storm or another you know, obstacle because you can see mountains far off in the distance, but you've come out of the woodwork equipped with the tools that you need to get you through anything. And I also feel like there's someone, like a preparation, a union, or a soul tribe, a professional, a helper, a healer. Someone is coming on your path if they're not already, and they're here to help you, right? They're here to help you shift and to take your career to the next level or take your health to the next level or even your heart by helping open you up in some way that may have been a little bit lost. 
All right, you have the village. I really like the village. You know the saying, it takes a village. So for some of you, this could be help from, you know, community. You may be getting back out there in some way, shape, or form. I also feel with this village, this does have to do with soul tribe, Sagittarius, soul tribe. This is all about the hometown, the family, and yeah, the tribe, it says. The village presents us with a conundrum. On one hand, it's the place that feels most like home, the place to which you can always return. Nostalgia and comfort draw us back. There's the memories. So this goes hand in hand with your key theme here. Nostalgia and comfort draw us back. On the other hand, it's the very place you must leave in order to grow. Around the village, an unspoken boundary exists. One most villagers do not want to cross. Though some support your leaving, still you hear whispers of doubt as you venture beyond its borders, leaving them behind. The energy of the village is present anytime we feel restricted by a certain group, community, family, place, or ideology. It may have served us in the past, yet staying within its parameters will never satiate our thirst for life. Thank the village for all it has provided, knowing that you will someday return. For now, the world awaits. Wow, that is taking a leap off the perch, okay? Now, some of you, you could be longing to maybe go back to the village. So take it as it resonates to you. Now, when this is showing up in the light, and I see because on the chariot, we have the dark coming out of the dark and entering into the light. So what that darkness may have entailed was small mindedness. It could be gossip energy, feeling trapped or feeling restricted. But coming into the light is all about intimacy. It's rooted energy. It's communal and inner, uh, intergenerational. The village moves with you as it is more of a mindset than a physical place. And we said that earlier as well. Remember we said that communication or transformation or healing is really coming from within. It's a big part of you reconnecting to that, that part that may have felt a little bit lost somewhere along the line due to the conditioning, due, the, due to the experiences that you've gone through. Returning to the village is as important as leaving it. This can be thought of as a completion or an integration. Haven't we been saying that word integration throughout your whole reading? This is an integration of what you learned out in the wild. And yeah, you're coming out of the woods. What did you learn while you were in the wild, while you were going through the challenges? You learned survival. You learned perseverance. You learned how determined you are and what the mind and the body is capable of. This is huge, Sagittarius. This is big. And if you want to go further, it says Haruki Murakami's hard-boiled wonderland and the end of the world. So I'm not sure if that's a book, if that's a poem or a song. Again, that's Haruki Murakami's hard-boiled wonderland and the end of the world. So whether you are Again, returning to the village, it is a place within you, more so than physical, but for some of you, it is physical, right? It is soul tribe and family, and you have, you know, you may be coming back to a place of wanting to feel more connection, more togetherness, but others of you, you are wanting to leave the borders, the confinement. So take it as it resonates to you, Sag. But this is a very big month when it comes to this turning point internally that is going to lead to massive change on the external in your world. That is what I have for you, beautiful souls. If this resonates, please hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. I'm just going to take one last look at health here. Okay, alternative health therapies uh, such as Reiki, singing bowls. I'm getting, I am getting working with crystals, with the spirituality. Some of you are working with tarot. You're working with mindfulness. You're taking a look at your belief system. I'm getting journaling. When it comes to health, I see that you may have had a chronic, chronic issue, chronic pain. 
And I feel like I'm getting shown the needles. So some of you, I mean, maybe there is some sort of an injection. Uh, maybe there's needling being done here, or it could be, uh, is it not hypnotherapy? I forget what that's called. Acupuncture. Yeah, that could be uh, something you are looking into here. I also see arthritic hands. Some of you may have arthritis or swelling of joints with the hands showing up, but a lot of you are healers with the healing hands. Uh, I also see something with the eyes or vision getting checked out. If you have any sort of cluster headaches or anything with the mind, brain fog, vertigo, you know, get that looked at, okay, Sag? Uh, I also see a hereditary issue that may have been passed down from your, your parents, okay? Or this could be something such as blood pressure, cholesterol, heart, you know, it's genetics here is what I'm picking up on with the, the baby and the elder, Okay, and then some of you, there's something with circulation or the cold as well. Okay, maybe you're getting really hot or you're getting really cold. Get these things checked out if this is a concern. And if this resonates or if something hit with you today, you may want to come back to this because you may get little bits and pieces that connect along the way. That's what I have. Thank you so much for tuning in today, Sag. Lots of love to you. Till next time.